Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're all doing well today. Have you ever had trouble finding images in your Elementor Pages editor? It can be really frustrating to spend a lot of time searching for pictures you just uploaded to your media folder. But don't worry, because in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to organize your media library like a pro using media folders and the WP Media Folder plugin. With WP Media Folder, you'll have access to a bunch of helpful resources and features to boost your productivity. You can sort and filter your images, integrate videos, and even store your media in multiple folders. In this video, we'll dive into how to create and manage media folders and apply custom filters to your media. But that's not all, we'll also cover how to add WP Media Folder widgets like gallery widgets, PDF embeds, and media file downloads in a live content environment. So let's get started and explore all the possibilities. Hi there, welcome to the second part of this tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to solve a common issue that most people face when using media in Elementor, which is dealing with a cluttered media library. Luckily, there's a simple solution to this problem organizing your media library using media folders. To get started, we'll be using the first plugin that was created on WordPress specifically for this purpose, and it's called WP Media Folder. The first step is to create a new media folder and save it. When you create a new folder, it's placed in the current location you're in. For instance, if you're in the root of the media library, the new folder will be created there. You can also create subfolders up to 10 levels deep if needed. Creating a new folder is a breeze, and you can even drag it to any location you prefer, including under another folder, just like you do in Google Drive. You can move media by using the left navigation tree or the center part, and all media will be moved without any broken links. WP Media Folder uses a WordPress taxonomy to manage folders, not real server folders, but you can choose to use physical folders if you prefer. In a future video, we'll focus on using physical folders. However, note that using physical folders comes with some limitations, such as adding a media in multiple folder, but we'll cover that in a minute. The other method to create a folder is to upload it. You can upload media in a folder, yes, but also directly a folder with its media. Let's give it a try and use the button named Upload Folder on top of your screen. Now my folder is uploaded, and a new subfolder has been created, which is great. Now, back to media organization. You can right-click on each folder to create a new folder. Rename it, or add a color. For example, you can set a folder to orange to make it stand out. The most critical part of media organization is moving your media files, and we've seen how to move a folder. You can move media files to the new folder by selecting them and dragging them into the folder. Lastly, you can assign one image to multiple folders, which is handy for finding your images later. Open a media detail and in the right column, you can select several folders where the same image will be placed. Your media library will now look organized and clean. That's it for this sequence, let's move on to the next one. In this third sequence, I'm going to demonstrate an easy way to insert an entire gallery into your Elementor page. It's a fantastic method that can save you a lot of time and energy when it comes to managing your page's content. To begin, just go to the Elementor search bar and look for the gallery widget. Drag it onto your page's content, and then you can conveniently organize your images into folders using the WP Media Folder plugin. You can choose to select one or all of the images in a folder and insert them all into your page with just a click. By doing this, you don't have to go through each image individually, which can take a lot of time. Using the Gallery widget and WP Media Folder, you can manage your image content more efficiently and conveniently. In the next few sequences, I'll be showcasing other WordPress Media Folder widgets, including the Gallery Add-on widget, PDF Embed, and File Download. So keep watching and stay tuned for more. Let's dive into the WP Media Folder first widget I want to show you, that is the Gallery widget, available with the add-on in WP Media Folder, but we'll see that in the latest part of the video. 
All you have to do is locate the WP Media Folder Gallery add-on widget, click and drag it onto your page's Elementor section. Once you've done that, you can choose which gallery you want to showcase simply by selecting it. With WP Media Folder Gallery add-on, you get access to themes that help you display your media, such as masonry, portfolio, or slider. Let's check those three themes preview here in Elementor. There are also many other settings you can find to personalize your galleries. By using these themes, your media content will look more visually appealing to your audience. If you're interested in that precise feature of WP Media Folder, there's a dedicated video about that on our channel. Now, let's move on to the final topic I want to discuss in this video, the PDF Embed and Media File Download Widgets. I will first add the widget in an Elementor section, it's called WP Media PDF Embed. With this widget, you have the ability to embed PDF files directly into your content. This means that instead of just providing a download link, you can display the PDF alongside the rest of your WordPress content. You'll be able to preview the entire document and the embed feature even handles multiple page navigation with responsive design. To use this feature, all you need to do is open a PDF document in your Media Manager and turn on the PDF embed setting. It's as simple as that. Your PDF is displayed here, and you have some controls available to zoom and navigate through pages. To finish with the Elementor integration, let's check the WP Media Folder file download widget. Let's add the block to Elementor, as you can see, there's a downloadable file here, the block is empty, and I need to select a file. I'm opening the media library and I can also select the PDF as downloadable file I used just before. Okay, it's done and I have a download button here. Note that in the plugin settings, you can configure all the design of the button and the download icon. If I open my page with the Elementor preview, I can download my file here. I see you in the next sequence where we'll review all the plugin features, integration, and prices. Finally, and now that really the end, let's check the integrations that the Gallery plugin has. There are many WordPress plugins integration with their respective content blocks, widgets, or modules, whatever their names are. Also, and that's more interesting, there are many clouds integration, meaning that you can host your images on those systems, whether it's for performance purpose or just for the storage offered. In fact, there's performance connectors like Amazon S3 or DigitalOcean in storage integration like Google Drive or OneDrive. This plugin is available at $49 without all these integrations we've just seen but with all the features we've just tested in this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.